So modeling. Now, it's a really interesting one because sometimes what you say is, right, OK, learners, today I would like you to write me a story. Go. And, they're like, and sometimes they're thinking, well, what does that mean? How do we write a story? How do we do that? So modelling the learning is about you showing your students how you want an activity to be achieved and how you want them to learn. Now, I'm a big fan. I Historically, that's why I said about story. I'm an English teacher. That's what my subject is. And um, what um, I do with my students when I'm teaching them something about writing a story is I show them live. So I model live writing, which is quite hard because sometimes you make a bit of a mistake and you think, oh, that's not a very good word. And, and I don't quite know that that's the best word. So I cross it out and I re and I think of a better word. Now, that's OK. That's completely OK to show them that you aren't perfect and that you are editing and adapting your work as you go. And it's the same if you're modeling something in maths. I'm gonna show you a bit of modeling later on. And the idea that actually, well, it's one plus one equals two. Okay, how do I do that? Where do I do it like? And to show them, to show them your journey. It's okay to feel frustrated here. Um, I often do. I find it quite difficult. I really find it really difficult to start a story. I actually find that quite difficult. Let's have a think about what I can do. Ask lots of questions. So what do you think I should do next? So ask the students, if I come up with a really good sentence to begin with, well, what do you think I should do next? What, where should we go with this story? What should we, where should we continue? Who should we introduce? Uh, what is it that I'm doing? Am I doing this the right way? Show them some good practice exemplars. I'm a big fan of doing of showing up students practice exemplars and how to achieve something. Now, it might be something to do with maybe an experiment uh, if you're doing a science lesson and showing them exactly how to, for example, model doing the, an experiment to the class so that they can then continue. And don't over model. Make sure that pupils have time to practice. Now, again, rather than modelling the exact, exact task you want them to do, maybe you want to adapt the task slightly. So, for example, I want my class to write a story that involves uh, happiness. So what I do is I actually show them a story that involves sadness. And I model that so that they can then practice and adapt, it's all the same skill, how to write a story, how to think about vocabulary, how to think about sentences, how to think about punctuation control. But they then have to be a bit creative when they come to do it themselves. Um, if we over model and show them exactly, exactly what the answer is to the task that we're setting, that can be quite complex for, in terms of the fact that they, they might sit there and go, well, what am I supposed to do now? You've done it for me miss or so you've done this task for me so don't over model 